Eight, we do have new information about the person of interest. Investigators believe it's connected to the deaths of four Portland metro area women. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy has been following this story all week and brings us what he learned today. Well, the four women who were found dead over the last six months were from different cities across our viewing area, including right here in Longview, where 24-year-old Charity Perry was born and raised. Now, the families of these victims are demanding answers about who this person of interest is. Days after the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office confirmed they have a person of interest in the deaths of four metro area women, family members, like the mother of Kristen Smith, are left wondering who this person is. We know what you guys know. We're reading articles. We are watching the news. We have not heard from Multnomah County, Clackamas County, Polk County, all the counties. We have, as the family, have not heard anything from them at this time. Melissa Smith posted this video on her Facebook in response to the news that broke Monday. Her daughter Kristen Smith was found dead in the Portland area after going missing in Gresham last fall. She says she's confused why this person of interest was released a year early by then Governor Kate Brown. Why? And now look, my daughter was the first one to be murdered. So I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of concerns on that. This is what we know so far about the person of interest. Fox 12 is not naming the individual because they have not been officially charged with a crime. According to public records, this person was released by the then governor in 2021 because of their work as a prison firefighter in 2020 and a record of good behavior while in custody. But then July 3rd, the Multnomah County DA's office requested that current governor, Tina Kotick, revoke their clemency. It was granted and they're currently in custody at Snake River Correctional Institution after being arrested June 6th by the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office for parole violations. Former Governor Kate Brown sent Fox 12 this statement saying, quote, I am absolutely horrified for the victims, their families, and all those who have experienced these losses. Though information is still limited about who this person is, Melissa says she's grateful for the support from the community. I am just fighting to keep it together and take notes of everything and any information collected, give it to my detectives and keep all my faith in them that they're gonna continue moving forward and every single day working on this case to, um, to get all of these girls justice. Melissa has started a new GoFundMe to support her and her family as they continue to fight for Kristen's justice. Now, if you'd like to donate, you can go to our website, kptv.com. In Longview, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.